Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute. In today's video, I'm going to be talking through everything DJI Avatar 2. Yes, I owned Avatar 1 and I hated it, but this new drone is awesome and that's what we're going to go through in this video. So first up, disclaimer here, this video is not sponsored by Drone Pilot Academy, but those guys did have a competition and my boss actually won this drone and he said to me, Michelle, go and fly it. My first impression was, no, I don't want to because I hated the first one. Um, it was not easy to fly. I just didn't enjoy the experience. But you know what? I love the guys over at Drone Pilot Academy. So I thought if anyone's going to be able to teach me how to do it, it's going to be those guys. So first impressions before we get into flying. What comes out of the box? Well, I have um, the combo set, which includes this bag here. You get the drone. You're also going to get this headpiece. Now, what I love about this, that the first one really let you down on, is that the battery here is actually in the headset. So none of this connecting your battery to your phone that sits in your pocket. The one thing that really let down the first version of this was that. It was just a horrible setup. So what I will say about the Avatar 2 is that this setup is perfect. Just look how neat this is. So the first impressions are great. Now this here... This for me was a big bug bearer with the first one. It was horrible. The whole experience of using controller. I've been a drone flyer for four years now and I use a proper handheld controller for my commercial work. However, this time around, I'm going to say I've fallen in love with this. And the reason being is the usability. It feels so intuitive to fly with this now. Um, I don't know why it is just incredible and all the buttons make sense. Everything is just exactly where you need it to be. So I'm super happy that DJI made the decision to, I guess, upgrade this because it is far from what the first one was. Now, this is not an unboxing video, so I'm going to move swiftly on into the usability of this drone. So setup is incredibly easy. You can actually do a flight simulation connected to your laptop. Setting up the headset literally took around about 10 minutes. And the thing that I like is you can use the controller whilst you're wearing the headset to go through the menus. It's just set up so well so that you can get going quickly. When you thought first getting a toy like this, I say toy, I know it's not. Um, but you're just excited. You don't want to read manuals. You don't want to go through things. And from my perspective, with this drone, DJI have done a really good job in making that transition from unboxing to flying dead quick. First time use. Okay, so like I said at the start, I hated the Avatar 1. I just thought it was clunky and I was really frightened to fly it. I've got a lot of experience. I've got my GVC and I've got my A2 CFC. Like I say, I fly commercially. Um, and I was a little bit hesitant when flying this drone. Jim assured me, and to be honest with you, he's an ex-RF pilot, so I'm guessing he knows his stuff. Um, taking the drone up initially, about a meter, and then setting forward. The great thing about this drone is beginner mode. Beginner mode is super slow. There is probably a very slim chance if you're in a nice open field that you are going to crash this drone. And if you do crash it, to be honest with you, I've seen lots of folks crash these and um, they come up pretty well, to be honest with you. Some of the bigger drones that I've flown that I've crashed and I haven't come back from, um, these things will survive. I don't know why. I think mainly because it's an entry drone for FPV flyers and you're going to be pushing it through small spaces to get those cool shots. But the durability of this drone is awesome. Go back into the flying part. So like I say, I took off really smoothly and then in that beginner mode, I was loving every minute of flying instantly. There was no kind of red area where you're just trying to figure things out. It just felt so good um, maneuvering the drone. And actually after about five or six minutes, I said to Jim, like, what's sport mode? And in sport mode for anyone who does fly DJI um, drones will know that it is incredibly fast. This is what these drones were built for, to go fast, to get into those places where you can't go with a normal drone. And they're fun. They're so incredibly fun. So straight out into sport mode, what I did notice is sport mode still is quite easy. There's this little dot on the horizon when you're flying. And as long as you keep that on the horizon, you're not going to crash the drone. You are pretty much going to stick to the flight plan that you intend. Um, so I wanted to do some kind of like Top Gun Maverick kind of swooping down around us, which is what you can see me doing here. And just generally having fun with this drone. The, the whole time I was immersed within the flying, which is what FPV flying is all about. You know, if you're looking for a small drone to just go and get some video footage, I would suggest maybe other drones because there are ones that will do just that for, I think, a little bit cheaper than the price of this one. However, if you want a fun drone, like drones are supposed to be fun. Like when you're flying them commercially like I do, the kind of fun element comes out of it because you're always on an automated flight. Um, but this is just fun. I don't think I've said the word fun enough. So like I say, um, the moving from beginner to advanced is very quickly. 
Um, then there are the moves, right? So the DJI avatar have this kind of slide glide, I think it is, and then like a 180 flip. And it's just a push of a button and the drone does it for you. Like, it's so cool. And um, whilst we weren't in an area where I could kind of like fly in and out of trees, that is something that I will be doing in the future because that is exactly what this drone is built for. But I just wanted to come here on this video and for anyone that is thinking of buying this drone um, and you want to get into FPV specifically flying, then get it. Uh, the only thing that I would say is it was probably recommended that you get A2 CFC. I know a lot of drone flyers out there don't have um, certain certifications. It's not 100% needed, um, but I would recommend it because safe flying enables us all to continue to fly. Um, they're only going to increase the regulations if there are stupid people out there doing stupid things. Jim was my spotter on this flight. That's the only thing that I would say is it's really good to have a spotter because you, you're in the headset. So if you're flying, you can't see what's around you. You can't see your surroundings, which can be quite dangerous. Um, but it doesn't need to be a flyer. You can just have a friend who is telling you, you know, what's going on if there's someone approaching you. Um, so, yeah. And if you want to get more into flying, if you're interested in the Avatar, the great thing about Drone Pilot Academy and the thing that I love about them is if you buy a drone from them, you can go along and they'll teach you how to fly it. So there's none of this kind of like nervousness of leaving it in the box and not feeling ready or finding the right place. Those guys are awesome at kind of teaching you so that you have the confidence to go out and fly whatever it is that you purchase. You can buy DJI drones from them. Um, and I would suggest that, you know, if you're going to buy off the internet, it's just going to arrive and it's in the hands of you and scrolling through YouTube to figure out how to fly things. Like I say, reach out to them and it's the ongoing support. I say this with anything that I buy, whether it's for construction or to use at home, is if you buy from a company that has ongoing support, the value in that far succeeds getting like a 10 or 20% discount and a cheaper price offline for me anyway. So knowing that those guys are on the end of a phone call um, to answer any of my silly questions is pretty awesome. There you have it. If you've got any questions on the Avatar or the Phantom 4, which I fly, I'll hopefully soon be getting my hands on some other drones to give you a bit of a review on the whole kind of market on what you can get and what you can achieve out of drones. Drop your questions down below, hit the follow and... Um, I'll be back with more drone stuff, probably related to construction, but who knows, I might be out having fun with this.